Oh, oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is a floral fruity gourmand fragrance for women. Oh, let me welcome you back to my videos. I did have to go into the store and smell some of the cheaper scents because I promised I would purchase more to try and to review to you and to add to my collection. If you have not seen my cheapest perfumes collection video, I will link that in the description box because that's a fresh new video I just made of what I have currently. So I wanted to add to my cheap fragrance collection because it looked a lot smaller than I thought it was and because I have bottles scattered all around the house I wasn't quite sure what I still had and what I did not. I went to try some new perfumes and I discovered some new releases from Pink Sugar Aquilina collection. Let me just show you and then we're gonna unbox that first. There are three new perfumes from the Aquilina line from the pink sugar specifically there's berry blast there's red velvet and there's my sunshine it comes in a yellow bottle but i didn't like that one when i tried it in store so i did not buy it it's very floral it's very appropriate for spring and summer but i have enough florals i think these were the most attention grabbing to me from the new releases let's unbox them Okay, this is Red Velvet by Aqualina in the Pink Sugar Collection. I am very excited. It is such a wonderful idea to create flankers of pink sugar. It's only fair. Oh. Oh. oh, this is lovely. Oh. This is sexy pink sugar, like, oh my goodness, oh. <laughs> it's sweet, vanilla, and fruity, okay? This is a floral fruity gourmand fragrance for women, oh! And bergamot, and then it has a violet, orange blossom, and lily, and whipped cream, vanilla. Oh, if you like pink sugar, you can blind buy this because this is even better. Because the original pink sugar, yes, it has sweet notes as well. It has vanilla in it, and it's fruity, but, but it's more caramel. It has more powdery notes. Um, it has too many other things. But this one is simple. Like I said, it's sweet, fruity, and vanilla. But it's so like sexy because of the strawberry. And it's got bergamot. And it's got whipped cream. It kind of reminds me of the Britney Spears. You know, you know the one I'm talking about. Anyway, this is really nice. This, if you like the original this is blind by worthy i can't believe this let me not overdo it it's really nice like it just took my breath away anyway it's like a romantic one it's like a sexy one the other original one is just plain i think like once you smell this you're not gonna care too much about the first one the original one because that fruity one vibe in here is just oh i really like this you guys red velvet Sugar. really great this was not a blind buy I did try it in store but smelling it again right now it just smells oh I just it's great even better next up is berry blast okay so let's try this I mean red velvet was good so let's see how we feel about this one this is more blueberry based, like a synthetic blueberry. So this is more strawberry based berry fruity. This is more blueberry based fruity, sweet and vanilla. They're both really great, but if I had to pick, I would 
pick the strawberry one this is such a great idea i bet you they're gonna make such great sales out of this because their original sold out like and they're cheap you guys so you're not breaking the bank but you're smelling delicious sexy at the same time and they're great for gifting and great for layering great for bedtime showers let me not give my secrets out too easily like that you know i do have to let you know that i'm not sponsored because when i get excited it sounds like someone's paying me to do this nobody's paying me i i paid for this myself okay anyway love them i'm so excited <laughs> okay listen there's a reason I'm excited one of the first perfumes I ever got ever in my life I think it was it was a gift from a guy but we won't we won't get into that okay he bought me because I was like 13 years old or something like that he bought me one of the fantasy perfumes by Britney Spears the one with just the plain pink bottle that was my first fragrance ever I if I remember correctly anyway since then I have purchased that perfume like a hundred times like you guys and I've gifted it as well it has white chocolate in it it's vanilla it's sweetness you know it's sexy affordable I was in the drugstore and I saw this new release by Britney Spears this is electric now Britney Spears has many many fragrances in her range this one grabbed my attention because normally I buy midnight by Britney Spears and then I buy the pink one but I saw this bottle and this bottle is a gradient colored bottle I'm feeling like it's a mixture of all of her scents that are my favorite in one bottle because she has the midnight blue that is this color that's a perfume she has that's just this color she also has one in this color she also has one in the red color like these are it's symbolizing all her perfumes long story short i tried this perfume in store because you know it had just come out and i said i must try it because is it a must have and look i bought it because it smelled really good this perfume bottle is symbolizing all the different perfumes that she has out right now the blue the pink the the dark purple the red at the bottom and i love all those perfumes so i thought it only appropriate for me to try this and i did and i loved it so i bought it we're running out of room it is a combination of different perfumes it's powdery it's sweet it's fruity it's ambery at the same time i know it has some pepper in there so it's just different it's a mixture of all the perfumes that she has so i feel like it'll work in so many different occasions anyway give it a try if you can find it this perfume here is the bewitching yasmin quietly charming yasmin holds herself with rare beauty anyway basically she has decided to find herself an established man who she can marry and enjoy above all the the kinder british climate so this has to be an alluring scent because yasmin here is trying to find her self an established man okay to marry not to play around with i have tried them before but i've just forgotten because it's been so long since i tried them and penhaligans which is the fragrance house all come with like a different animal head at the top this like purpley burgundy juice i am just too eager for this stuff you know This is ringing a bell. Woody and woody, balsamic kind of nighttime vibes. And the oud and wood is very pronounced. So it's not, it's sexy, woody, woody. So we'll have to play around with it and see what we can 
do with it, where we're gonna wear it. I have some samples, Dolce & Gabbana, auto toilet for men. This is the one, Ralph Lauren. Okay, this perfume has been on my wish list for a while. And this is Narcisa Rodriguez for her. This is Floor Mask. It's a sparkling fragrance. It has all these, um, what do I say, deep ingredients, but it's quite bright. So I have tried it before. Oh, I just love Rodriguez perfumes. This will be a lovely pink. This is a, a lovely rose mask, okay? It's a light rose mask. So this is the bottle. I have got the 150 ml it's so pretty this this is a sweet girl innocent girl who you know you just have to break her in for her sexy side to come out she's just oh i'm i'm beyond excited This is Lente D Givenchy Auto Perform Rouge. I'm just so eager to try this. It's a, a 50 ml bottle. I think they also have like a 75 or 80 ml bottle, but it was sold out. Lente D is French for prohibited. That is so creative. I like that. Well done, Givenchy. Anyway, let's try it because this bottle is so sexy. I'm so eager this smells like the velvet red bottoms from christian louboutin dangerous sexy feminine oh it is slightly fruity but not really no it's mm. Smells like Christian Louboutin velvet red bottoms. That's it. I've been gravitating towards this seductive sense, you know. It's by the brand Guess. It's called Seductive Red, okay? So. I feel like so many brands are coming out with perfumes that have red bottles. At at this point in time i also bought this one because i was curious to see is this a good dupe for any of the perfumes that are more expensive that come in these red sexy like bottles so if it's a good dupe for something i will let you know so as i said this is seductive red by the brand guess different it's an auto toilet so i wonder how it wears there's a fruit in there but it's like one specific distinctive fruit and it's sexy oh i'll have to come back and review it i really like this so far look i have bought a couple of guest perfumes before there's another one that's in like a clear bottle that's a more clean scent I think it's called Woman or something like that. And it's really great. Like it's a dupe for like Dolce & Gabbana, the one. It's more similar to the Paco Rabanne Lady Million. So Guess has really nice scents. Don't sleep on them, try them. This is Seductive Noir by Guess. Ooh, I'm excited, okay. It looks like we're going for sexy vibes in 2022, okay? This is seductive noir. Oh, let's try it. Mmm, smoky. <sighs> Grown up. Mmm. I like it. It's saying that 
It's a fruity floral gourmand with bergamot, blackcurrant, pear, jasmine, African orange flower, orris root, cashmere wood, vanilla, olibanum, and let me wear it a couple of times so, so we can all know that I know what I'm talking about. But at this point, this is just my initial reaction to it. I like it and it didn't break the bank. So here we are. I also got more samples. Here is Alien Ouse extraordinaire or the toilet and this one is called montal paris roses mask oh i'm so eager to try this i've had such a great time discovering new scents blind buying and everybody loves it when they blind buy and it's a successful blind buy so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you have not already leave me a comment in the comment section anything to do with fragrance or anything to do with life it costs nothing literally but it helps me out so i will see you in my next video